You can use the seating chart feature in the SIS to create seating charts for each of your classes and to record attendance using a seating chart format. You can print your seating chart and you can even use the seating chart to send email messages to any students who've missed a class. While the default for submitting attendance is the list view, you can also take attendance with the seating charts. The first time you view your attendance for a class, you'll need to set the seating chart up. To access your seating chart, select the seating chart button in the upper right portion of the screen. The first time you access your seating chart, you'll see that all of the student images and their names are stacked one on top of the other on the screen. So your first task is to move these images and the student names into the configuration that you've determined for your classroom. To do this, select on the Move button at the top of the screen. And then you can drag the pictures into different locations. You can modify the picture size to make this process easier. And note that after your school loads up pictures of your students, these placeholder images that are currently seen will be replaced by actual pictures of your students. You may find that this initial setup phase takes a little while as you drag the different students into the correct location for the seating arrangement that you have in your class. You can use the alignment section here to vertically align, horizontally align, or align your images both ways. Once you have the configuration that you'd like, select on the Save button to save this particular layout for your class seating chart. Additional options for the seating chart, including the option to change the name format for the chart itself. The default is first name only, but you can select from the additional options so that the seating chart matches what you need for your classroom. Once your seating chart is ready to go and you're ready to take attendance, you're going to switch to attendance mode by selecting on the Enter Attendance button. Now of note, there's a link in the upper right hand corner that allows you to mark all of your students present at one time. If instead you need to mark individual students absent or tardy, you can select on their names and cycle through the options that are available. Once you've recorded your attendance, select the Save button to send your attendance to the office. Finally, in the miscellaneous category at the top of the seating chart, you see two options. The first option to print the seating chart is pretty self-evident. You'll select on the seating chart, and then a printable version of your seating chart will be available for you to send to the printer. The second option, to send email, allows you to automatically have selected those students who might have missed your class. You can then send them an email listing any assignments they might have missed. You can also add additional students to that list by dragging them from the available column and placing them in the selected column. Then you compose your email and send as you normally would. The email will be delivered to the student's standard district Gmail account. Seating charts are a very efficient way for you to take attendance for your classes. While it takes a few minutes to set up each chart, once you've saved your configuration, you can then easily take attendance from the attendance chart or switch back to list view to find the method that works best for you.